Huntsville Center's Medical Initial Outfitting and Transition Program is assisting the Army's Research Institute of Infectious Diseases relocate into the largest and most complex biocontamination facility ever designed. We mm -hmm. offer our customers health facility planning agency who represents the Army Surgeon General and their end users, in this case USAMRID, a full turnkey approach to take them from their old facilities to their new facilities. And currently, USAMRID is underway and in the process of starting that outfitting and also transitioning with their concept of operations and their standard operating procedures. The Defense Department's lead laboratory for medical biological defense research will soon be operating in its new $677 million facility at Fort Detrick, Maryland. The facility itself is a little... Um, a little under a million square foot facility. It has large interstitial space with all the mechanical systems, very, very complex. And so we're working very closely with Baltimore District as they're finishing up their commissioning activities. We'll go in and place the equipment and the, the new equipment in its proper locations. The medical IO&T contract ensures the more than 800 military and civilian scientists and specialized support personnel have the tools they require to investigate disease outbreaks and threats to public health. The total value of the contract for initial outfitting and transition is approximately $84 million. A lot of that is that complex equipment that they use for their investigations. The center's medical IO&T projects support the Army's medical mission by equipping and transitioning staff and patients into new and renovated facilities. Currently, we're supporting the Fort Bliss Medical Center and working on the initial outfitting and transition of that facility. Over the last couple of years, we are proud to have finished new hospitals located at Fort Benning, Fort Hood, as well as Fort Riley. The IO&T program not only supports stateside projects, but supports projects in Europe and the Pacific too. However, its support for the USAMRID project is one with a truly global impact. They work with the Centers for Disease Control. They work with the World Health Organization. It's a privilege to be able to support the safety of this nation and our war fighters as they go out to protect our freedoms.